water and I'm Michael Phelps. Come on, Pablo, get your breath up, but that don't equal well. But you can't help all your partners unless you don't help yourself. A quick check now at the starting lineups for both teams. So the Rockets win the tip. The Prodigy. It's good from long range. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. At six, Markkanen, and right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. On defense, the Jazz. Outside, Gordon. To the paint, Chandler down low. Gordon. Takes the three, six to shoot, and again it's the Rockets from deep. A wide-open three. They need much better communication defensively. A short time ago, Mike D'Antoni and I were able to catch up. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Gobert. Markkinen. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Pass to Chandler. A three ball. And here is Cephalosha. It's tipped. And that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Jazz retain possession. Clarkson. A prodigy and the shot counts he's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play not trying to rattle any rims or racks there just up and in with the finger roll and this is his first trip to the line tonight and that one misses just about two minutes into the game first quarter of basketball Clarkson and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession But three, rebounded by the Jazz. They set the pick. Clarkson drops it in from 14 feet away. Outside Gordon. For three, good on the shot. Six points for him. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Shot clock at five. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. 
And the first one at the line is good. And the Rockets making a change here. And so he makes both from the line. Covington. And Houston again with the bucket. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Utah trailing here. There's the pick. Sexton. And here's the break. And the shot is good. Seven points in the game. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. The Jazz again can't hit it. The Prodigy. The Prodigy. Four seconds left. And that's two points on the layup. Sexton. The shot no good. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Welcome back, everyone, to lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start the second quarter. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? There's the screen. Back to Davis on the left block. And he can't bank that one in. Caboclo takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Pass to Davis. Knocks it loose. Clock at four. From downtown, blocked. It's three on three on the fast break. That's good. He's got nine. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Utah calls timeout. And the Rockets making a change here. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Beyond the arc. Can't hit. The Prodigy. And he lays it straight in. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Here's Tucker. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. The Prodigy, soft touch off the glass. 13 points in the game. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Tucker. Number 81. Number 81. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. And the first one drops. The Rockets making a switch here. And good on the second, so he makes them both.
Poked away. Here's Gobert. Down to five on the shot clock. Sexton. Here's the break. The prodigy. Lays it in off the breakaway. He's got 15. And fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Utah calls timeout. And the Rockets making a change here. Here's Johnson. You saw him with 10 points last game. Chandler with the steal. Pass to Frazier. The rebound by the Jams. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. And here are the Rockets. A nice run going 12 in a row. Now Cephalosha. The prodigy. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. 18 points for him. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Johnson outside. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, fires from deep. It's hauled in by Frazier. Here's Gordon. He's got six. Back to Frazier. Pass to Gordon. Fires the three, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. One second left. And it's yeah! Wow, he nails the buzzer, Peter! And through one half, it hasn't even been... Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. The Prodigy having a great impact in this game. And on the floor for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson right side. Just five to shoot. And that one's good. He's got eight. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Gordon with it. He's got nine. Puts up a three. The shot is off. Clarkson. And it's off from three-point range. Clemens. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Johnson outside. There's a screen. Inside. The layup off target. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Eric Gordon on the wing. This one for three. Another miss by Houston. That's not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight misses. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Johnson left side. Shot clock at six. Clarkson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It's his first trip to the line. The first one falls. The Rockets making a switch here. Both good from the line that time.
outside Gordon. Pass to Chandler. Back to Gordon. The prodigy. Another miss by Houston. You know, sometimes rest can do more harm than good. It certainly looks that way for them. They've been cold coming out and have yet to find the bottom of the net. Clarkson trains the three-pointer. Nine points in the game so far. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. The Prodigy. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Utah calls timeout. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. And the Rockets making a change here. Here's Gobert. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. That's good. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Back to Gordon. Jacks up a three. And another three for Houston. Sexton loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. To the inside. Now here is Zephalosha. Shot clock at three. Clemens. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Ball's knocked loose. And that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Jazz retain possession. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Cephalosha. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Rockets ahead. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on two. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Lamore with the ball. The prodigy. Off target with his three. There's the steal. Gives him the lead pass. Johnson outside. There's the three. And he gets it to go. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jump. The prodigy. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. First free throw is good. The Rockets making a switch here. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about a minute into it. Johnson down low. On the wing, Eric Gordon. Right side, Gordon. Let's the three fly, and that one's good. He's got 25. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. They set the pick. 
Markinen. Pass to Johnson. Just fine on the clock. Here's Gobert. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Down low. And the basket by Gordon. Throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And he knocks down the first one. Houston with a big group substitution here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Now McLemore. Here is House. Six to shoot. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. The first free throw is good. The Jazz making a switch here. Both shots good from the strike. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. There's the pick. Five to shoot. Here's Tucker. Launches it. Shot no good. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Making a long pass like that is always a risky proposition. Back to O'Neal. That's tipped. Here's Tucker. Fires for three. They get the rebound. Pass to O'Neal. From outside the arc. Morgan. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And he makes the first. That one is no good. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. They set the pick. Williams Goss. No good. In and out. Off the rim. So we see the rocket. Thank <laughs> you.